Hello, my dear friends. My name is Harold and welcome to The Sanctum. In today's video, I'm going to talk about your five fingers and how you can use your index finger to supercharge an intention so that it may manifest into your life. So it's important to note that our five fingers can be associated with the five elements, fire, air, earth, and water, and spirit, the fifth element. Now, it's important to note that these correspondences are system relative, meaning in one system or lineage of yoga, they may say the correspondences are like this. Another system of yoga might say it's like this. The particular system that I'm talking about is the Western Hermetic association with the five elements. So first of all, the thumb is associated with spirit. because so of course, it's an opposable thumb. It's the, it's the one that you probably is one of the most important because you use it to grab things and it can move around the most compared to the other fingers. So this particular finger is associated with spirit. It's also symbolic in the science of mudra of your spine and working with the thumb in certain kinds of uh, acupressure and acupuncture has a direct link with the spine which uh, in yoga is called the Merudandaha, which means the axis of the universe. Your spine is like the axis of the universe. If we cut something on your spine, if you cut one of the cords on your spine, that's it. Your whole universe disappears because it's connected to the brain. So this thumb is associated with the spine. It's also associated with spirit. Now, the index finger, and this is what you'll be using to set your intention You know, in later in this video, is associated with fire because fire is that element that is vigorous in nature it's effervescent in nature it's dynamic in nature it is willpower it is force and this finger what do you do with it when you bring this finger up you give orders you tell people to do something you point at things you direct people you scold somebody now if you grew up in a asian school when the teacher is trying to tell you off, they'll put their finger up like this and start waving it at you. And for some reason, when they do this, it somehow has a lot more power than it normally does. Because this is the finger of fire. The finger of force. This finger, the middle finger, is associated with earth. It's the densest of all the elements associated with materiality and, uh, and, and all of that. The third finger is associated with water. Of course, water is the element associated with love. Hence why we put a ring on that finger when an individual gets married. It is the love finger. And the little finger here, the pinky, is associated with air. So these are the five elemental correspondences associated with the five fingers. So, of course, you can see now when you start to combine them together to form mudra, they take on a certain correspondence like fire and spirit and earth and spirit and things like this. And when you're doing things like that, you're using earth and fire. So that becomes very interesting to explore later. I talk about this a little bit more on my Patreon channel. You can check that out if you like. But now, because this is associated with fire, it's also, there's also an energy center here, which you use to direct energy. So every morning, a very powerful thing that you can do is to set one strong intention for the day. And when you squeeze your muscle like this, when you squeeze your muscles on your hands, you start to generate tension energy. And when you release, this tension energy is released. I talk about this on my personal magnetism course as well, which you can find in the description box below. So keeping this in mind, what you're going to do, what you can do every morning is think of an intention that you'd like to manifest. You close your eyes, you visualize this. Maybe it's receiving a call from a client. Maybe it's uh, drawing 
more business to your establishment. Maybe it's a positive interaction with your boss. Maybe you're going on a trip and you want it to go well. Maybe you're giving a presentation and you want it. You want to be confident and to do it well. Whatever it might be, you think of the intention. You take a deep breath in. You you tense the rest of your fingers, bringing your index finger outwards, the fire finger, and you say your intention out loud and point outwards with your finger like that, imagining that your intention is at the tip of your finger and it's going right out into the ends of the universe. Okay, so that is the intention. Right out to the ends of the universe like that. With force and vigor. And with that, you're using the power of fire, which is the element of creation itself. It is fire. It is light. It's the only element that generates light. And you're using that to send a powerful intention out into the universe to manifest a particular desire, a particular result in your life that day. So something very simple, something very short that you can experiment with and let me know in the comment section below your success with this particular technique. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe, and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Peace.